The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Give me some. Just like some water, sir. Thank you. Alson, awesome. what did you make of the performance in the result? I felt it was a game that was very intense physically, that was uh, locked as well because the two teams were well organized and uh, defended very well. You could see it was the first leg of a decisive uh, tie and uh, overall I must say uh, we, we had a great solidarity, great uh, spirit in the, in the side and uh, overall it was a, a deserved nil-nil. We couldn't score. In the last 20 minutes, there were opportunities there that maybe we didn't use well. But uh, overall, uh, we have now a job to do at home and uh, we'll try to do it. But we've played Chelsea so many times where the two teams know each other very well, you know, and uh, that's why when the two teams decide uh, to block the game, uh, they can do it. Jack Wilshire, that must be a negative. Can you give us any indication? Yes, an ankle uh, sprain and uh, the first look at it uh, was not too bad, but uh, of course for Sunday I think he will be short. How long will he be out? I don't know. But it's it's a shame to lose him uh, when he's in such a good form. And uh, it was by blocking the shot that turned his ankle. And uh, it's his good ankle, so I'm quite <laughs> positive. <laughs> he has a good one. <laughs> The ligament's not bone. Be the ligament's not the bone. Not a, when we have bone problem. No, no, no. It's a ligament. Difficult to, or slightly unusual surroundings to watch the game tonight. Yes, you I. Must uh, I, I must say you're well, you're well treated. You know, you have, the best, <laughs> you have the best places in the stadium, and uh, you cannot complain. And uh, it was frustrating, but uh, uh, the position was quite interesting because I was close to the bench. And not too far high up, and that's where I like to be. Did you seem to get frustrated by um, Hazard and Morata whenever they went down? You, you kicked your seat a lot. He was in front of you. <laughs> 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 yes, I am sometimes frustrated, yes. Was there a reason you picked... the delays with video replays? The video replays, how did you think it went? Uh, it went, uh, there was only two opportunities for them to intervene. Uh, the first one uh, was straight away because the ball went out. The second uh, one for me, uh, uh, it would look a bit strange after having the game has gone on for a while and then there is a corner and then uh, to come back to a penalty would look strange, you know. Because uh, if the referee has uncertainty, maybe we should be capable to block the game straight away. If there's no penalty, you give it to the defending team. Because it looks... Uh, a bit strange to go on for two minutes, for example, sometimes, and after come back, uh, everybody forgot what happened. Uh, uh, basically, you know, that you cannot intervene straight away. It's a bit frustrating. There were um, there were a couple of surprising selections you made. Sanchez on the bench and Awobi starting, given the last few days he's <laughs> had. Can you just talk us through your decisions on those? Uh, no, not really. Not even on Awobi. Because you said he'd be punished and then... Yes, uh, there's one thing to punish somebody individually and the second thing to punish uh, everybody. You know, if I, if I think that he has, uh, uh, can help the team to win, uh, it's nothing to do with the fact that he can be punished uh, separately, individually. Was Sanchez anything to do with Manchester City? No. No, no the, the team selection had nothing to do with the, with the transfer market. Why did you rest? Why did you start him on the bench? Why not? Because he's your best player. <laughs> Sorry. He's your best player. I uh, have not to justify every decision I make. You know, it's uh, I uh, made uh, about a thousand games, and I made thousand teams, and I got it every time wrong. But 
I have to make a decision. Are you still confident that Sanchez will stay in January? Yes, that's what I want. I want him to stay for longer because uh, uh, I believe that he is a very important player for us. And uh, when he came on tonight, you could see uh, that he created straight away uh, a danger. That uh, you have to accept as well that uh, when you play so many games and Sanchez plays every game, at some time, uh, a breather in the middle of a season helps them a little bit. There's six months left on his contract, Arsene. He can speak to foreign clubs. Yeah. He can speak to other clubs. Yeah. Are you aware that he is actually doing that? No. Are you aware? No, I've got that <laughs> No, I am not. Uh, because you, you just give me the rule. He doesn't need to, to tell me that he speaks to anybody else because it's the rule. You know, he doesn't need to alert the club. He can do it on his own. But I, you know, uh, people don't know well Alexis Sanchez. This is a guy who is completely focused to play football. Have you seen how he came on today? How he warmed up? Like a player who wants to play football. And uh, he can make a difference between what's going on outside and what's going on on the football pitch. Really with facts, not with uh, psychological theories. And the fact is when you turn on, on the pitch, you play football and you give 100%. And that's what he does. What was his reaction when, you, when he saw that he wasn't starting? I don't want to talk about that, you know. Uh, we have at least to keep some things a little bit <laughs> private. <laughs> you asked you, Francis Coquelin appears to be set to move to Valencia. Can you tell us more about that decision? He goes to Valencia. Because he didn't get enough games with us this season, and uh, but uh, he had an opportunity, and I uh, let him go. Will you look to replace him in the market? Will you bring a replacement? Look, first of all, the best way to replace him now is to get Aaron Ramsey back, uh, Mesut Ozil back, and, uh, and uh, that will help already. After that, uh, we see. And uh, we have seen again, I think, uh, uh, Maitland Niles had an outstanding performance tonight. Uh, he's, a, he's a defensive midfielder, basically. So at some stage, uh, uh, what he's doing at the moment will help him uh, as well to develop as a player because he plays in a different position. But at some stage, I play him as well uh, in there because we have uh, Monreal injured, we have Kolasinac injured. Uh, they will come back, so that is as well an opening place for him in midfield. Last one, guys. Bench. Are you going to keep? Are you going to keep Panos? He was on the bench. I think he said he was going to go to the Conrad's Germany. I personally uh, want to keep him until uh, May to know him better, to assess his level. But uh, the first signs he has shown in training were so encouraging that I uh, uh, decided to keep him until May. Arsene, you just on on Sanchez. You were saying he warmed up like a guy who wants to play football. I mean, everybody accepts that. The question is whether he wants to play football. At Arsenal, so of course, uh, he didn't play for for anybody else yeah. tonight. Yeah, but can you you can understand that as time ticks on, people are going to be asking more and more questions. But surely, it's better even for you to know one way or the other whether he wants to to stay or, and then to commit or, or not to commit. Yeah, of it's course. Better I, for you to know now, isn't it? I can understand that. Yes. But is it better for you to know now, though, rather than? Look, I, 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 uh, I have no problem with does he sign now or in, in June or uh, what is for me important is the next game and uh, that you can rely on him. The only thing I want to say, the performance of Alexis Sanchez and the commitment does not depend on the uh, duration of his contract. It just depends on the fact when he's on the football pitch he wants to play. That's not Thank true, you. though, is it? Thank you. That's not true, though, is it? Arsenal? I mean, if his, if his contract is expiring as he's committed to Arsenal, then isn't his commitment dependent on whether he is ready to stay and play for the club rather than if he plays well tonight, last week, next week? I don't understand uh, the way you see things. You know why? Because it doesn't matter uh, if I play the next game for Arsenal. It doesn't matter how long contract I have to go. I want to win the game and I commit like uh, stay forever. So uh, you, you say basically that the commitment of a player is linked with the length of his contract. I don't believe that at all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.